Hey y'all, what's up? Welcome back. So first off, let me say that I am coming off of being sick. If you guys didn't notice, uh, I only uploaded a couple times in the last couple weeks, which is unlike me, only because I was traveling like crazy and then my phone got stolen with all my vlog footage on there. So there wasn't a vlog this week because, or last week because the phone is just gone, you know, it's just gone. Scott, it just got take, you know, just it was just Scott. I had to skip out on doing the vlog for last week, but it's all good. I am vlogging for this week, and hopefully there will be a new vlog up on Monday. Let's hope. So I wanted to go ahead and film something for you guys because I have been kind of MIA um, on YouTube. Not really though, because I still have had content out, but it's just not as much. And so I figured I would just, you know, film and get ready with me. You guys really enjoy these. So I figured I would do it again. Um, I find it funny that now I'm doing another get ready with me with extensions again, but these are the same extensions, but these are straightened. So I was trying to use my extensions that I had previously that were already straightened uh, or came straight, but they weren't blending with my hair enough. And I was just like, this is not looking right. And then I was like, hmm, what if I straightened my curly clip-ins? And I did, and they actually blend really, really nicely. So I will do that reveal, obviously, when my hair is done setting. Um, I just curled it with a one inch and a quarter uh, flat iron, not flat iron, um, curling iron. And uh, yeah, so I'll like undo my hair and everything for you guys. Um, as you know after I get my makeup done, but I wanted to use a couple new things that I got in this get ready with me um, So yeah, the first thing is this um, J1 jelly pack this right here So if you guys haven't been on like the whole Korean beauty craze yet uh, I'm just now getting introduced to it and seeing like all these different products I got a bunch of Korean beauty products at BeautyCon and also got to talk with the founder of glow recipe which is really cool and so she sent me some stuff which included this and um a couple other things i got from beauty con that are korean beauty based so i was like oh that would be a cool video to do also it would be like korean beauty products that i like or whatever and so this is my first time trying this my sister <laughs> was with me at um BeautyCon and she saw a demo of this stuff right here and was like raving about it I was off doing something else, but she was just like Jay you have to use this and you have to get this So I'm like, okay, like I'll get it or whatever like have them send it to me So yeah, it's like the back is like all in Korean you guys can see yeah It's like all in Korean which I think is like really cool Like I love when stuff is like different and like foreign and everything because you guys already know I'm a military brat I grew up overseas. I lived all over of the world so I think it's dope you know um, the only thing that's kind of tr kind of hard to do is like understanding what some of these products how are they what are they meant for and like how to use them because like this is supposedly a primer so that's why I'm using it in this video today and luckily like the box that it comes in it has like a sticker with everything in English so you can like see um, but basically this is supposed to be like a multitasking makeup gripper so it's supposed to help your face grip onto the makeup and like smooth your pores out and all that kind of stuff so um, while I'm sitting here talking about it, I'll go ahead and put it and it comes out clear You guys can kind of see that it comes out clear. Oh, it's like dripping too. You put a dime size on your finger pat it into your skin um, Yeah, and you can wear this like as a night routine also like a night cream or whatever before um, You go to bed um, or as like a primer. Oh, it is kind of like jelly feeling I don't know about this kind of feels weird like it feels weird putting this on my skin right now um, but you put it on, you're supposed to like pat it, I guess. Pat it on your skin, dispense them out, fingertips, gently sweep onto cleanse skin, gently pat into skin for a complete skincare routine, mask experience. Oh, skincare routine and mask experience in one product. So, it's supposed to be a morning mask, lifting treatment, and primer all in one. The unique jelly texture helps quickly and effectively penetrate in the skin to deliver moisture for depleted skin while firming the skin upon pa gently patting, creating a smooth, flawless canvas for makeup. So, okay, we're putting this on. Um, yeah, it does feel sticky, that's for sure. Um, this is kind of weird. Um, 
All right. Okay. So we're patty. Um, it feels sticky though, but not like in a bad way. And as it kind of dries, I don't know. I don't know what this is supposed to do. I don't know why my sister was so amazed, but maybe I'm missing something. Um, and maybe it's supposed to sit for a second. I mean, it is smoothing like my skin texture out a bit. I don't know. We'll, we'll see how it does with my makeup. Um, Cause right now I'm like, it's kind of not doing anything. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I'm gonna be also using the Naked Skin Weightless Ultra Definition Liquid Makeup Foundation from um, Urban Decay. I grabbed this while I was also in New York. This is in the color six. Honestly, I could probably do like one shade darker than this, but um, I can always like wear this as it gets like colder and colder out. Um, because it's getting to be winter soon. Uh, so yeah, so yeah, see it matches pretty well. Um, it's just like a lighter, a lighter match versus it being like, you know, like a little bit darker. Um, but yeah, I like this foundation. I've only worn it like one time so far and, um, the only thing I'm worried about with this is um, sometimes when I sometimes lighter foundations make me look have like a white cast when I take photos and stuff. So hopefully we don't have that problem. Yeah, cause see that's the side with it. This is without it, and see it's like not ashy or anything, but it is lighter. And maybe like you know when I um, get my um, when I get my contour in there, it'll blend it out a bit better. But, you know, we'll see. We're taking chances. We're taking chances today. We are taking chances. So, yeah. So, basically, let's talk about what happened to my phone. So, initially, I was going to upload, like, a little mini vlog um, with, like, you know, Snapchats and stuff from the weekend and everything. But then I just got super discouraged and like, I was just like, no, that's pointless. Like, it's not the same because I had such good footage from the weekend and just the week in general. That week was lit, y'all. Like, I was traveling. I had gotten a little like mini like cooking show with Mark in there. It was going to be so good. And then I, you know, my phone got stolen. So basically, the story is that I was... Uh, at this yacht party on this yacht in Miami and um, basically I you know I've been drinking a little bit not gonna lie I've been drinking a little bit but not enough to like you know be completely incoherent and like not you know notice stuff and so basically um, basically let me get this over here um, you know as I'm you know I'm trying to post something on Instagram and of course like you don't have service on the boat um, because it's like, you know, in the middle of the sea or whatever. And so, um, I'm trying to post something, hoping that I'll get like a little inkling of service, which I didn't. So I put my phone down to, um, to actually, I'm about to use, let me see this. Oh, so this is my color. Okay. I'm just testing this, um, this concealer out that I got from Becca, which I'm like loving right now. So I, cause I have this one, I've been using this one as a highlight. So this is the color medium. So this is what I use to highlight, which I'll highlight in a second. But I was seeing um, what this tan one was looking like. And so this one looks like it's actually my skin color. Um, but yeah, and these are so good. These are um, the Aqua Luminous concealers that they just came out with. Why don't y'all tell me I have some in my teeth? So on this boat, whatever, having a good time, having a great time actually, like a really good time. And um, one second I'm checking to like post this thing on Instagram. And then the next minute, you know, I put my phone in my little crossbody bag. That's, I mean, it's it's a little, it's a little bag. So I had the, I had a plus, right? So the plus doesn't, didn't really fit all the way in my bag, but you know, it was on my person. Like it was on me, so I was like, it's fine because if it fell out like I would feel it and it's not a big deal really wasn't much thought going into this obviously because obviously that is probably not the best idea 
So, um, yeah. So, basically, I put my, my, um, gosh. Maybe I'm tripping. Maybe I'm tripping. I don't know, y'all. Y'all, I'm, I think it's okay. I'm just looking at the texture because it's, my skin is doing something weird. Anyway, um, maybe I need to just spray my face with some. Do y'all, do y'all get that sometimes? Like, sometimes when you put a foundation on, it kind of looks, like, dry. My skin has been, like, acting really weird lately. So, I'm just gonna, like, spray the crap out of my face. I'm using this, um, vitamin infused complexion spray from Urban Decay because I just got a bunch of this stuff when I went to this PR company's office. But anyway, so back to the story. Put it in my bag, check it. It's not there anymore. I'm, you know, at this point I'm like, oh crap, like what the heck happened to my phone? Um, basically kept looking for it. We made an announcement on the D at the DJ booth. And mind you, like, this is a well-lit area of the yacht. Even though, like, it was nighttime and there was a lot of people there. Like, there was, you know, a lot going on on the boat. It was like a three-story yacht. It was freaking huge. And so, there were, like, all these different areas for people to, like, party in, essentially. So, we were in one of the, like, more well-lit areas. And, um, and so, you know, it was just weird. So, never found the phone. I actually asked some girls <laughs> that had the same phone case as me but didn't have the same phone so they had um they had uh sevens and i could tell because the phone was smaller so i was like hey excuse me i know you don't have my phone because obviously like i have a plus and like obviously like you don't have a plus but you have my same phone case and you know when people drink sometimes they just like grab phones that look like theirs. so i was like hey can you like double check your bag and just see if like mind you it was a well lit so i could see their phones like in plain sight and I was like, hey, can you just like check your bag in case you like accidentally like grabbed a phone that you thought was yours and then you um, grabbed another phone looking like yours, you know what I'm saying? Because I've done that before. And um, and so they checked, they were like cool about it. And they're like, yeah, girl, like, no, like, you know, I don't have any other phones. And I was like, crap. So at that point I was like, you know what? I might as well give it up. I know I'm not gonna give my phone back because that's just, you know, we're in Miami and to be quite honest, um, I had a plus, like I told y'all. Why does this look cakey? I don't even think you can see it on. I gotta take it off. I gotta take it off. I gotta take it off. Now we know that I think that jelly pack is not not for me. Um, I have drier skin, so maybe that's what it is. But that I, I've used, like I told you, I've I've, I've told y'all I've used that foundation before. And it did not make me look like this right now. So we're just gonna start over. And luckily I'm not rushing. So it's not a huge deal. You know what, let's do this. We're gonna moisturize first before we do anything else. I'm using my Glow Moisturizer. Um, What's it called? Yeah, my brows, man, they just be getting unruly. I I mean, I like matte makeup. Don't get me wrong. I like matte makeup, but I'm not down for makeup that makes you look like cakey or like doesn't look like skin, you know? Like low key, we may not even use um, we're gonna use primer, a different primer. So I'm gonna use this photo finish, Smashbox photo finish primer instead. Cause I know I'm not gonna go wrong with this stuff. Yeah, maybe it was that jelly stuff. I don't know what the heck, what the heck just happened with that. Um, we're gonna do that. We're also gonna just use um, a different foundation because uh, yeah, that was looking really light. And if I have the opportunity to, um, change it up let's take it as a sign that we need to just change the whole game up with in that sense i'm gonna be using my nars trusty nars velvet matte skin tints um this is my favorite foundation currently um it's just like really like it's nice coverage and doesn't take a lot to like get the job done so so yeah basically never got the phone back but, you know, the biggest lesson that I realized was that, honestly, I wasn't, like, 
freaking out like crazy to be honest I was like you know what at the end of the day it's just the phone like you know like yes I'm losing you know a few photos and you know some video footage and that you know messes up my schedule for uploading and whatnot but at the end of the day you know luckily you know I didn't lose any of my like my ID or my credit or debit card you know what I'm saying like I was in Miami so obviously not at home like what I, you know that would have been a a whole ordeal y'all oh man y'all have been struggling at some point my camera just like stopped recording but that's okay I don't even know what the heck I was talking about last but um yeah basically was saying that you know lost my phone or my phone got stolen and it's not a huge deal it is what it is and I got a new phone, you know, and we're back in business a few days later. Like, it wasn't a huge deal. And, like, you know, I think, like, sometimes little things like that will take us out. You know what I'm saying? Like, would really, like, jack up our mood and stuff. And, you know, you can't let that stuff, you know, take you out. Like, seriously. Like, um, I, like, first off, I was sick. I've been sick. I'm still sick. Um... And, you know, I just realized when, like, that happened that, y'all, the devil was coming for me. Like, he is trying, like, to do things to, like, mess me up. When one thing bad happens, like, continuous things keep happening. So it's like when it rains, it pours type of thing. Like, low key, but high key, that's what's been going on with me. A lot of different things have been happening and, like, kind of really, like, throwing me for a loop. And kind of, like, messing, try, like, you know... Things that used to like really throw me off as a person. At the end of the day, like I'm so blessed. So, 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 so blessed. And I can't allow like something so small and trivial to ruin me. You know what I'm saying? And like not only was I like sick and all this crap was happening. Like it was just like on a whole, a lot of different levels. Um, things were kind of like sucked on a, a lot of different levels like a lot of different levels and i just had to say hey you know what all these things can't ruin me and i'm not gonna allow them to so i just didn't i just didn't allow them to ruin me and here i am still standing you know like it wasn't the end of the world that my phone got stolen and you know um sometimes shit happens like for real like life that's life like stuff happens and you can't control it and it just is what it is you know and so i'm like going all out of order for my makeup today like i never contour this early but that's okay that's okay i'm so i don't even can y'all tell that i'm like nasally i don't even know if you can like y'all can tell um on on camera but i am like my nose is so stuffed up Lord, oh, who's calling me? Who is that? I don't know. Y'all, I don't be answering numbers that ain't saved in my phone. If it's business, you'll leave a voicemail. If it ain't business, you won't. And that means we had nothing to talk about. If I could walk around with a tissue stuck up on my nose, I would. And the other thing about this foundation too is that I don't even have to do a lot underneath my eyes or anything like it covers anything and everything which just makes my life easier obviously my hair is is straight um i used some new products today too or yesterday whenever i did it initially um to uh, straighten it i'll show you guys i used this little this little trio here I use this Aveda Smooth Infusion Style Prep Smoother, which is like a cream-based thing. And then a drop of this Moroccan Treatment here. And then the Carol's Daughter Chocolate Blow Dry Cream. I mix these three things together. Now, I know it may be a little OD, but um, this mixture together got my hair so straight, so fast. Like, it was like unbelievable the amount of dry time it was kind of like crazy 
and I was like, whoa, like why have I not been using these before? And I just grabbed those out of, you know, obviously I got a lot of product back there. So I just grabbed it from there. Um, that blow dry cream is actually a, a blow dry cream that I bought, oh my gosh. I bought that blow dry cream like, shoot, four years ago and I still have it. Cause first off, a little bit goes a long way. And second off, when I first bought it, it was expensive for me. It was like $20. And I was like, oh my God, I can't believe I'm buying something for $20 for my hair. This was when I was in college and I had no money. Um, and, um, and, but I was so happy that I got it because that blow dry cream is still like definitely one of my favorites. Um, for sure, for sure, for sure. And so I found it in a random box like when I was moving and I grabbed it and I was like, I'm gonna use this sometime soon. Cause I gotta like see if it still does, you know, does the job and it did. And I had that smoother, um, that smoother stuff by Aveda. I had gotten it, um, I don't even know, in some box of PR stuff that I get on a regular basis. And um, I never used it, so I was like, "Well, let me use this too. Let me see what the what this is about." I've never even seen anybody use it before, but you know, I like to try new stuff out, and so use that. And then I knew I needed a serum of some sort, so I added that, and that's what how I got to the whole using three products thing. And I didn't even have to add anything else to my hair when I flat ironed it, so I added those three products. Whenever I, um, whenever I blow dry, like blew out my hair, and then I um, just went straight into flat ironing. And the um, Chocolat blow dry cream is a heat protectant, so that's a heat protectant. I'm not sure if the Moroccan oil treatment is a protectant. I'm not quite sure. I think it is, but. Um, not 100% positive. And I don't believe that the smoother is a heat protectant either. So that's why I needed something with heat. And I know that like my hair does better with blow dry creams. Um, I can always add like a spray or something because I use the spray, the Ori Base blowout spray before, and I love that a lot. But I realized that. Um, if I would have mixed that with a cream of some sort, it would have been even better. Even better. Y'all, I need to get my brows done so bad. Oh my gosh. Like, doing this right now is like, I'm trying to make a miracle happen. Because they're so not good. Oh, and if you guys are wondering, I will be announcing the winners of my giveaway slash contest in the next week or two i'm still going through everybody's submissions and they're also very awesome um it's really amazing to like you know read you guys's submissions and like learn about you and stuff so i'm excited about that it's gonna be um hopefully i can get through them within the next week so that i can announce to you guys in about a week and a half or two weeks okay so i'm going in with the tarte palette i'm going in with firecracker which is this like glittery color right here and i'm just going to do that on my lid i'm not going to do anything like extravagant oh i didn't even tell y'all where i'm going so sally's is putting on this huge like summit beauty summit thing here in dallas this weekend and um, I'm going to it today or today. I'm supposed to be there all weekend, but um, I'm going out of town for the day tomorrow, but I will be back by like tomorrow night. So I may or may not like do anything with the with everybody tomorrow. Going in with Rebel in my crease um, just to add some depth. But yeah, so my... Um, my friend Symphony, you guys know Symphony Soto. That's like my little sister. She's gonna be here. My manager will be here. And um, yeah, influencers and whatnot. So there will be like a dinner tonight and a little um, cocktail hour and like 
fashion show and stuff. Obviously, I'll be vlogging, so you guys will not miss any of that. Um, so yeah, so it should be cool. Oh, I already jacked it up. I can see it. Ah! Oh, wow, I actually fixed that pretty nicely. I may not have destroyed my makeup. Low key, I think I ripped out my eyelashes when I took all my eyelash extensions that I had gotten done. Ugh, terrible. Ever since then, I feel like my natural lashes have been so thin and so like not really there as they usually are. Praying that um that they that they grow back <laughs> because I already know that they're missing. Some of them are missing. I think I legit ripped them out. I've been using this uh, highlighter from Laura Geller, which is this gold or gilded honey. It's really pretty. You guys can see that. It looks really, see like it's so pretty. And I like that the sparkle is like more fine because sometimes with some highlighters, they put that, uh, they make the glitter so like, like, I don't know, like clumpy, if that makes sense, that um, it looks like you have just put glitter all over your face. I don't like that. Lip, I think I'm just gonna do a lip gloss. This Urban Decay Glide On Lip Pencil and Peyote or whatever, and um, this gloss from ColourPop, it rubbed off the color. It's Weho, I think, I don't know, I can't read it on the thing but yeah this is the final makeup look that we're going with today now we're gonna let my hair out fix out i just pink curled Ooh, oh okay curl okay curl i get really excited when i let my hair down and like stuff just like you know falls together like that like that is a good sign like when it all like clumps you already know that they just are gonna be, they're gonna, co they're gonna cooperate. Oh, yes. I don't wanna like pull it apart too much because it's gonna fall on its own. And these are my curly clip-ins that I straightened. Like, like look at it. And honestly, I didn't clean, I didn't cleanse them or anything before I did this. So they are like dirty hair essentially. And dirty hair always curls and stuff better. But look how shiny my hair is. Isn't that bomb? Isn't that everything? Yes. And it blends perfectly with my texture and everything. Yay, yay. So for my edge control today, I'm using the Myel Organics edge control. By far, this is the edge control that is the most like tacky, not tacky, but it's like a pomade. It's not even like really like loose or anything. So it will keep whatever you are um, trying to lay down, it will keep it laid down as much as you want it to as if i had a fresh perm yeah right yay look at that now if i had time which i don't i would actually put a scarf on and like set this a little bit so that my edges laid a little bit flatter but i mean this works for now it definitely works for now because it it'll do yeah it'll do its job and like I said, I just used a um, one and a half quarter barrel iron to um, to curl this hair. And then I let it set for maybe an hour or so maybe after I curled it. Just because I was like getting ready in between time. So this is how it came out. So I know y'all always, 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 always ask me where do I get my big hoop earrings. I get them from Aldo, okay? I get them from Aldo. I have bought... These same $10 hoop earrings, like probably, now probably close to eight or nine times. This is it, yay, we're ready. Um, I am wearing this um, pink jacket that I got from uh, Fashion Nova. This white like tank um, uh, top from H&M. And then just some jeans. I hope you guys enjoyed this Get Ready With Me. And until next time, talk to you later. Bye.